you get yourself an Axion unit, now you need to know how to use it. So let's go over the quick menu. You'll see it's not that hard and it's pretty easy and pretty intuitive when it comes down to it. So this is the greeting screen. Okay, you have this is the main menu right here basically. So you have unipolar day, afternoon and sleep. So that's 14 hertz, that's 8 hertz, and that's 1 hertz. This one will keep you awake and alert and ready to go take on your day. Uh, the afternoon will relax you, put you more into, um, I wouldn't say a sluggish time, but like just kind of a mellow thing. And sleep is obviously for sleep. Now, unipolar and bipolar, it's a video for another day, but um, you can either have a generated unipolar signal or a bipolar signal. There is no actual research that shows that one is better than the other, right? So it's just for you to find out which one you like the most. So you pick one, whichever one you want, and then you click on how long you want the session to be. I, 20 minutes, and off it goes. You can turn the screen off if you want, touch anywhere on the screen, and it'll come back. So let's cancel that. And that's pretty much the quick startup for it. Now on the frequency train button, um, we have quite a few set up here. Let's go over the preset. The top one right here is for depression. You can also use that for a pick-me-up during the winter blues, for example. The sweep goes from 1 to 85 hertz and back down to 1. The meditation is a higher frequencies uh, that will bring your brain up, vibrate faster, so you can be extremely alert and focused. And yes, meditation typically brings the brain frequencies up higher, not slower. This one is for studying. You can also use it for brain fitness, by the way. This one is for anxiety and mood swing. This one right here is for the long COVID people. This one right here is for brain fitness. Um, originally we had that session an hour and a half long and we found out that it was people were exhausted when they're done with it. So we cut her down just under an hour. So when you get in better shape, you can do it twice a day if you want. And that one is for the brain defrag. Uh, it helps people with um, basically the brain fogs and stuff like that. Now, I don't know if you know this, but everything is related to the brain. That's what the Nexion is all about, is brain. The brain fitness and the brain defrag were basically used for people with early onset of dementia to help them get those higher frequencies so you can stop the brain car wash. We can talk about that in another video. Now, the center button right here, the program does uh, allow you to click on this, but um, you're missing a module inside and I've done that only for the research company it's just allowing you to go to a double decimal point so just ignore that one let's go back then you have build your own on build your own it's a it's a train and basically you gotta load up each wagon so you choose the frequencies you want it to be at let's just pick one for example and the time the time is in second so if I enter three, it's three seconds. If I enter 3,600, that'll be 60 minute, one hour. Okay, so this would be for one hour. Um, you can load up the wagon, the next you wanna to go to 12. Let's make this one uh, 60 seconds for one minute. And then the next one, you can make it for four seconds. And then you keep filling them up like this. The duty cycle, you can go from one to this will correct itself to 20. The duty cycle does not improve or reduce the efficiencies of the PMF, the healing part. All it does is create heat on the mat. So if you're in the winter, you want to feel some heat on the mat, be more like a little bit of a heating blanket, you can bring the duty cycle up to 20 and you'll feel some heat. And then you choose unipolar or bipolar for each one of them. So we'll just go back to 1, 33. You can make your own concoction there if you want. Right? This is an update coming up in the next uh, few months. Um, so we, we increase this to 10 wagons. Then here, 
you say how many times you want this to repeat itself. So we'll go with 55 times, for example. I'm just picking up numbers at random here. Then you go next, and it tells you the session will be an hour, one minute, and 25 seconds long. And you're like, okay, I can do that. Then you can go save to one. So now we save that one to the spot number one. Then you go next. And off it goes. It does its own thing after that. You just created your own frequency train. We can cancel that, and you're back to the main menu. Now, if we go back to, you got my save right here. It's coming up, we save for five, so you'll go directly to this one, and then you recall save one next. Okay, so the frequency train, um, a lot of people get overwhelmed with it at first, but if you play with it a few times, you'll see it's not that hard. Remember, if you put zero for frequencies, a zero for duty cycle, nothing's gonna happen because zero percent is zero zero frequencies is zero right so you need at least one in each category to have something just remember that other than that just you can't do no wrong right so just go in there and have fun remember if you want to feel some heat increase the duty cycle if you don't want to feel any heat keep the duty cycle low so you got your mat and you're ready to use it for the first time and it could be like, you know, something new, so it's exciting and stuff like that. So just take everything out of the package and you're gonna get a little magnet uh, in a case. You don't need to take the magnet out, just leave it inside the case. If you're from overseas, you'll get a power adapter from me. Um, if you're from the States, Canada, or Mexico, you just, you're ready to go, just plug it in. And then uh, the power supply is good all around the world, so don't worry about that. Then you got your Nexium box and there's gonna be a little rubber lid you take that off and you literally plug it in there's only one way to do it so you can't do no wrong there again then open up your lid there's a little cheat sheet inside and the power button up front let it go through its uh welcome menu and then according to what you want to do uh, how do you want your brain to be in like with a state sleep awake or relax just pick up from the main menu or you can build your own frequency train and once in a while put the little magnet in a case on the mat, on the coils, and then see if it bounces. It's also a good thing to do when you build your own frequency train to make sure that you didn't make a mistake, like enter a zero for a duty cycle or something like that. Because if it doesn't move, then you know you've done something wrong. You also see the magnet speed bouncing differently whenever it goes from one hertz to 14 hertz. Um, a lot of the time when you use the depressions or the brain uh, fitness, the frequencies will be too fast for the low magnet to be able to bounce that quickly. So for example, if you put it over 100 hertz or 1000 hertz, which is really well known to help people with depression, there's no way the magnet, visually speaking, you can see it bouncing a thousand times per second. The pitch, also the vibration is so high that you won't be able to hear it, right? So usually anything above 30 hertz, the magnet kind of sort of stop moving just because it's too quick for our eyes to see. But um, you can use your mat on the couch and the bed, on the hardwood floor. There's really no, no wrong in how you use it, okay? Now, if you like to do yoga on your mat or you like to sleep on it on the floor, the coils are really big in it and you're going to fill the coil. So open up the zipper and insert a really thin yoga mat in there, like a quarter inch yoga mat if you want, and that's going to help you lots. A lot of people um, put a mat on a neat or on top of their uh, PMF mat if they want to use it on the hardwood floor. If you use it on a couch or in your bed, more than likely you'll be fine. I don't feel the coil at all when it's on the couch. It's just so if it's on the hardwood floor, you will. Uh, put it away, just fold it. Don't worry too much about it. You're not going to break anything. Um, the wires are loose inside, right? If you want to know how I build it, you can just go to my YouTube channel and then just watch how I build mats. I teach people how to build mats. So I have no secret whatsoever. So thank you very much for watching this. If you have any question, just let me know. <laughs> have a good day and enjoy your mat.